Welcome back and our subject today is systemic lupus erythematosus. We are going to a definition. What does that mean? That means some autoimmune disease. Uh, generally speaking, uh, this occurs in, the, in that way. So, uh, first of all, the body immune system recognizes uh, self tissue as a stranger or, or something that is not self for our own body and it mistakenly start attacks the self health tissue and during the exacerbation our immune system producing even more of these antibodies to self tissue and make a destruction and more inflammation throughout the body what are the clinical symptoms so we have uh, affecting like anything in the body that have vessels because it is a vasculitis of skin, joints, uh, serositis or serous uh, pla uh, pla uh, renal involvement, neurological, hematologic and even some additional findings that are not so characteristic but can also be found. So let's go back with clinical manifestations. Uh, so patient could have a malar rash, that mean a better a butterfly that spares the nasal nasolabial uh, folds spares, but it's a classic of a butterfly uh, picture. A discoid rash with scarring at the margins, at the edges, as you see here. Uh, photosensitivity, it's after exposure of the body or of the skin under the sunlight and you see this rash oral ulcers that are painless that can be on a palate or on a gingival internal part of the check so alopecia it's not obligatory but can also be found this is also a discoid rash but it's presented as alopecia or absence of uh, hair here Joint arthritis, yes, patient have arthritis, have involvement of the, uh, of the osteoarticular uh, system, but look here, no deformities, no erosions, and skeletal x-ray is usually normal. So what does that mean? As you see, this feature is inflamed, it's uh, edema, and the affected one is tendons. Tendons are affected, or capsule, or anything else but not skeleton by itself or uh, serositis or, uh, or uh, involvement of the serosa it is pleural or it is pericardial serosa look here at this uh, round edge is a uh, classic pleural effusion and pericarditis is mostly inflammatory not uh, empyema or infectious but can develop infectious from this uh, stasis and accumulation of the liquid and pericardium uh, involvement you see the thickness of the pericardial wall this one should be very thin but this one is thick and even see some fluid like between this uh, this sheets and ventricle so what are what is the renal involvement so it can be from mild protein urea to end stage renal disease like terminal renal disease so it's called membranous uh, glomerulonephritis it affects gl glomeruli so you see a picture here that shows how the antigens and antibodies are uh, forming some immune complex and deposits on the uh, membrane of the glomeruli and this impedes a normal glomerular filtration Okay, let's go ahead. Neurological, we can uh, find uh, some fatigue, psychosis, sagres, or stroke. It depends of uh, which zone is mostly affected from this vasculitis. This one is uh, from hippocampus. Patient will have hallucination, paranoia, and psychosis. If this is from frontal lobe, it's uh, uh, d some uh, impairment in uh, executive function or 
uh, behavioral um, impairment. If this is a uh, hypothalamic pituitary axis, it will be a uh, depression. So uh, hematologic uh, deviation from the normal range, yes, for sure that affect every line like uh, erythrocytes, uh, lymphocytes, leukocytes and thrombocytes. So patient can have uh, anemia or anemia from a chronic disease, from inflammation, from antibodies produced that also destruct uh, the erythrocytes. Lymphopenia or leukopenia is a thrombocytopenia, spherocytes as uh, antibodies can can attack can attack uh, can attack at the uh, edge of the of the erythrocyte and can make this smaller and spherical. So deep veins thrombosis is just because of forming of uh, antibodies uh, like lupus anticoagulant, uh, anticardiolipin, anti-beta-2 glycoprotein 1 and this one forming uh, immune complexes with, thromb with, thrombus, with uh, thrombocytes and forming thrombus. What are additional uh, immunological findings? Uh, so anti-nuclear antibodies for sure, double-stranded DNA antibodies, positive leukocyte uh, cell, po positive um, lupus erythematosus cell preparations, this one is, so you see here an atrophil, as you see a uh, multinucleated one, this one are, are red blood cells, and what we see here, a lupus erythematosus cell, so it can be a macrophage or even an atrophil that phagocytized it another cell or nucleus so this one is a big and fill it with another cell also a uh, patient can have a false positive test for syphilis that is anti-cardiolopine antibody so this one is not uh, specific as you see. and uh, also we can detect a decreased acetylation rate what does it mean uh, that uh, patient uh, who taking procainamide, isoniazid or hydralazine have chance of developing uh, drug induced lupus because uh, if they have decreased acetylation but it is a required uh, reaction for uh, metabolizing these drugs. Okay, what are additional findings? So, photophobia, but this is not obligatory. This one are not obligatory. Written lesion. Uh, or cotton wool spots, as you see many of them, many of them. Okay, blindness, mesenteric vasculitis, as I said, uh, affecting vessels and everywhere where is a vessel, uh, you will see changes and affection of the organ. Renal phenomenon, it's uh, like Prince Metal uh, angina, it's vasospastic one, you see a uh, uh, pale uh, fingers, antiphospholipid syndromes, could also be pneumonia, alveolar hemorrhage, restrictive lung disease. But can you repeat that these ones are not obligatory? What is that diagnostic test? So best one is anti-nuclear antibody. If patient have any autoimmune antibody, so uh, anti-nuclear antibody test will be positive. So this is extremely sensitive. What does that mean? Uh, if patient have a positive test, we have to do a more precise one. If patient is negative, it means that patient do not have uh, lupus. Uh, what are the tests that are extremely specific or at least specific? So anti-double-stranded DNA, that is 60% uh, specific and that means uh, antibodies that are 30% uh, specific. Also we can find a decreased complement level like C3 and C4 especially during the acute phase. During the acute phase anti-nuclear antibody increases and complement decreases from consumption. Anti-SSA is for SSB is for Jogren syndrome but can also be found here. Anti-RO 
It's associated with the development of cardiac conduction disturbances in child. It's like a complete uh, third degree uh, heart block or a neonatal lupus and antihistone antibodies that are uh, found in drug induced lupus. What is the treatment? Uh, we have first and best initial treatment is steroids. Steroids uh, help in acute flares, help in acute phase, but uh, we have also another drugs like hydroxychloroquine that is for mild disease. It's limited to skin and joints. Uh, we have a new drug that is belimumab, it's monoclonal antibody uh, inhibitor. Uh, it controls uh, progression. We have cyclophosphamide and mycophenolate. It's for uh, lupus nephritis. We know all these adverse side effects of the drugs, but we have to use them for uh, control or decreasing progression or stop progression or even for ameliorate uh, symptoms. NNSAIDs for uh, arthralgia is mostly for pain. So we cannot use for a long time steroids and we are uh, obligated to change this one with a drug uh, sparing, uh, steroid sparing drugs. And they are as a cyoprene, cyoprene, sorry here for a mistake, uh, mycophenolate mofetil, uh, methotrexate and cyclophosphamide belimumab. So they are steroid sparing. When we see side effect uh, of steroids, we are going for a steroid sparing drugs. And what are the complications of the lupus erythematosus? We know the two main complications like uh, infection and accelerated atherosclerosis. So mostly of the young people are affected by infections. Why you are asking you? And I can give you an answer because uh, patient have leuco Penia, lymphopenia and uh, autoimmune systems that decrease uh, uh, the self uh, safety of the organism and accelerated atherosclerosis uh, make myocardial infection the most possible and the most common cause of the death from vasculitis and affection of uh, the coronary vessel. Have a great time and enjoy my lecture. See you.